hi in this video i am going to discuss gate 2022 question paper this is the first part in which i am going to talk about theoretical questions for numerical questions please watch part 2 in addition to solution videos we are also regularly uploading videos on different topics of gate syllabus so please subscribe to our channel to receive the notification anyways let's start with the first question the first question is among the given options, which polymer is prepared using interfacial polymerization? Interfacial polymerization is a type of condensation polymerization in which polymer is synthesized at the interface of aqueous and organic phase. Since the polymer forms at interface, that means two different monomers having highly reactive functional groups are participating in the polymerization. In the given options, only nylon 66 is synthesized from two monomers. Rest of the polymers are synthesized from single monomers. So the correct answer is option B, nylon 66. In synthesis of nylon 66, diamine is dissolved in benzene and diacid is dissolved in water. Both the solvents do not mix with each other and polymer forms at the interface of these two liquids. Interfacial polymerization is used to synthesize conducting polymers, amides, polyurethanes, and polyesters. Next question is, in Mooney viscosity measurement of rubber sample, what number 4 signifies? Mooney viscosity is used to measure the viscosity of both natural and synthetic rubber. The Mooney viscometer measures the torque required to rotate a disc filled with the uncured rubber and it is represented by the given formula. The formula tells you about the final torque at 100 degree Celsius after 4 minute of test running time with 1 minute of preheating time. So the Mooney viscosity is the value of torque at 5 minute from the beginning of the test. So the correct answer is C. In this question, among the given initiators, identify the initiator that can be used for free radical polymerization at 5 degrees Celsius. So basically the question is asking you to identify the initiator that can be used at low temperature. Redox initiators are used to initiate polymerization at low temperature because they generally possess weak bonds that have a small bond dissociation energies that results in radical formation at a very wide range of temperatures including temperature less than 0 degree Celsius. In the given table, the activation temperature of each initiator is provided. Based on this information, the ferrous sulfate and tertiary butyl hydroperoxide initiator which is a redox initiator can be used for low temperature polymerization reactions. So the correct answer is A. Next question is, which polymer is blended with polystyrene to improve its weather resistance? Polystyrene is an amorphous material with low impact strength. To increase impact strength of polystyrene, it is blended with rubbers. But here, we need to identify rubber which provides weather resistance too. Among the given options, ethylene propylene rubber exhibits outstanding resistance to heat, ozone, steam and weather. Ethylene propylene rubber is also used for outdoor applications. So the correct answer is C. Other than ethylene propylene rubber, silicon rubber is also an excellent weather resistant rubber. In this question, we need to identify the polymer processing operation which is discontinuous. To answer this question, either you know the process or you are aware of at least one product produced by these processes. So pipe and wires are produced by extrusion process and films are produced by film blowing process. Both the products are continuous products. Yes, they are cut into different sizes for different applications, but they are produced continuously. On the other hand, cups are produced by thermoforming for which first we need a sheet. So thermoforming process consists of two steps, sheet making and then molding. 
therefore thermoforming is the discontinuous polymer processing operation so the correct answer is d thermoforming in this question identify the factor that makes polyethylene and polypropylene immiscible when blended although polyethylene and polypropylene are polyolefins but chemically they are significantly different from each other they do not co-crystallize when blended as both polymers are neutral there is no strong interaction between the chains of these two therefore no molecular miscibility on the other hand the system likes to increase entropy by forming crystalline phase polyethylene and polypropylene forms separate crystalline domains and thus forms an immiscible blend so the immiscibility of polyethylene and polypropylene is due to entropy this question is from mechanical properties of polymers in this question we have to identify methods that are used to measure toughness of a material toughness is the amount of energy per unit volume that a material can absorb before rupturing both tensile testing and impact strength measures the amount of energy absorbed by the material before rupture so answer a c and d are correct both a and d are different methods to measure impact strength of the material and option c area under the stress strain curve is used to measure toughness of a material using tensile testing option b is incorrect as depth of indentation tells about hardness of a material hardness and toughness are two different properties of a material hardness is the measure of materials resistance to scratch whereas toughness is the ability of material to resist cracking or breaking under stress this question is very easy as you need to identify the polyester polymers among the given options so this is also a multiple choice question polyester is a category of polymers that contains ester functional group in every repeat unit of their main chain among the given options except polyacrylic acid rest of the polymers are polyesters as pla pma and polycaprolactone possess ester groups in their repeat unit whereas polyacrylic acid contains carboxylic acid group in its repeat unit therefore option b c and d are correct next question is calculate functionality of adipic acid for condensation reaction with glycerol to answer this question first we have to understand what do we mean by functionality and second what is condensation reaction so functionality of a molecule is defined by the number of functional groups present in the molecule which can participate in a chemical reaction under the given conditions glycerol contains 3 hydroxyl groups and adipic acid contains 2 acidic groups or carboxylic groups now let's discuss what condensation reaction is condensation reaction is a reaction process in which a small molecule is released during the reaction in the present example only way a small molecule can release from the reaction of glycerol and adipic acid is through reaction of hydroxyl group of glycerol with carboxylic group of adipic acid since adipic acid has two carboxylic groups so for the condensation reaction the functionality of adipic acid will be 2 in this question value of phase angle is given and we have to establish a relationship between stress and loss modulus in dynamic mechanical analysis phase angle is the ratio of loss modulus and stress modulus phase angle is also known as tan delta or damping factor here phase angle is 30 degree and tan 30 is 1 over root 3 
so the correct relationship between storage modulus and loss modulus is e prime is equal to root 3 e double prime correct answer is a in this question match the polymer property with its unit electrical resistivity is the reciprocal of electrical conductivity it is the measure of the ability of a material to oppose the flow of current. There are two types of resistivity measurements, surface resistivity and volume or bulk resistivity. Surface resistivity is a measure of resistivity of a material along the plane or surface of the sample. Surface resistivity is expressed in ohms. Volume resistivity therefore is a measurement of the resistivity of a material perpendicular to the plane. As such, we can multiply the seat resistance by the thickness of the material. Therefore, volume resistivity is expressed in ohms centimeter. Volume resistivity is the inverse of conductivity. Since volume resistivity is measured in ohm centimeter, volume conductivity is 1 over ohm centimeter and it is measured in Siemens per centimeter. Thermal conductivity is expressed in Kelvin. So based on this information, the correct answer is C. In this question, we need to match the processing technique to their appropriate products. To answer this question, we have to either remember the most common methods to produce common products or following logic or information can be used to decide which product can be economically produced by which process. Extrusion is an ideal manufacturing process to prepare long continuous products like cable, pipes, fishing rods, tape, filaments, etc. As extrusion uses slit or die to produce long continuous products. Pultrusion is very similar to extrusion. Pultrusion is a process for manufacturing composites with constant cross-section or structural profiles having significant long length. Injection blow molding as name indicates consists of two steps, injection molding by which preforms are produced and blow molding where preforms are blown into final product. Common products that are produced by this process are plastic bottles, milk containers, storage tanks, plastic drums, etc. Thermoforming is used to prepare three-dimensional products with formed morphology such as disposable cups, containers, lids, trays, blister, clamshells, etc. Based on the above information, the correct match is option B. In this question, match the additives with their functions. Polymers are mixed with different types of additives, for example, curing agent, thermal stabilizers, colorant, processing aids, to achieve the best performance. Flame retardants are chemicals that are added to polymers to slow or prevent the start or propagation of fire. Impact modifiers are key additives to increase flexibility and impact strength to meet physical property requirement of rigid parts. Nucleating agents are inorganic materials added to the polymers to increase the crystallinity and, so and shorten the cycle time. Anti-ozonants prevents or retard damage caused by ozone. List of additives and their function is given in the table. Based on this information, the correct answer is option D. In this question, match the polymers with their IR stretching frequencies. IR spectroscopy measures the vibration of atoms and based on this, it is possible to determine the functional groups. Different functional groups show different vibration at different frequencies. If you look at the structures of given polymers, polyethylene gives a peak around 2900 due to presence of CS2 stretching. Acrylonitrile butadiene styrene copolymer contains nitrile group and it gives a peak around 2200 in IR spectrum. Polyurethane 
gives peak around 1725 due to presence of carbonyl group of amide group and polysulfone gives peak around 1100 due to presence of carbon oxygen group so the correct answer is b in this question match the polymer with its most appropriate product expandable polystyrene is used for sound proof walls because of its sound absorption properties polycarbonate is used for safety glasses because of its good optical properties peak for motor wearing to due to its lightweight strong and high temperature stability pvt is used to make tv cabinets due to structural stability and insulating properties so the correct answer is option d next question is to match the polymer with their synthesis method polymerization of ethylene by free radical polymerization gives branched polyethylene to achieve polyethylene with no branching or minimum branching jigler nata polymerization is used nylon 6 is prepared by ring opening polymerization of caprolactam emulsion polymerization is a type of radical polymerization so styrene butadiene rubber is synthesized by emulsion polymerization reaction of an acid with amine gives amide thus polyamides are synthesized by condensation polymerization example of aromatic amide is kevlar fiber so aromatic polyamide matches with condensation reaction so the correct answer is option a